I'm Mike Gavin, Chair of the Conference Committee, and I'm joined by Donna Franklin and David Barber, our Vice Chairs, and Julie Husk, our Conference Manager. If y'all would like to say hello. Hi, everyone. Hello, everybody. Hello. By the end of this webinar, you should have a much better idea on how the Conference Committee has structured the program as well as how to spend and plan your time with us out in Long Beach. Please feel free to ask questions as we go along. Simply type them in the question box and we'll do our best to answer them during the webinar. If you have a question that's more specific or needs more time than we can possibly offer during the webinar, we share our contact information at the end for folks to reach out. Again, we want to make this the best conference experience for you. This is kind of the agenda that we're going to go over today. Why should you attend? What's happening? What the EMAX is? We'll talk a little bit about some of our main speakers. We'll talk about the conference program and what else you need to know to make this one of your greatest experiences. So Donna, why don't you start with uh, why we should go, why we should network. Well, maybe we lost Donna for a second. Hi, this is Donna. I had myself on mute. Uh, I've been going to IAM for about 20 years, and besides all of the great things you learn at IAM, the networking has been phenomenal. It's just a great opportunity to meet people in the same and similar fields, to find uh, projects to collaborate on, to learn about best practices, and to get involved in, in more parts of the emergency management community. David, is there anything you'd like to add? Well, I have found that going to IAEM has always been a rewarding experience for me. I've always learned something. I've found new things at every IAEM conference that I've gone to. And probably the best part of IAEM, along with all the knowledge that I've gained, is my ability to uh, network with not just my peers in the higher ed world, but find new networking opportunities outside of my world within the higher ed emergency management field and utilize those networking connections that I've made to actually help me advance the world of emergency management within my community back here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. It's a really worthwhile conference, one that I continually look forward to every year. It's a great opportunity to network not only with other government employees, but also to start building those public-private partnerships. We have many events happening before, during, and after the conference. Uh, pre- and post-conference, we have training and meetings. We have training from EMI, EMAP, Naval Postgraduate School, Center for Homeland Defense and Security, National Disaster Preparedness Training Center, and we have our IAEM, CEM, and AEM preparatory course exam and other off course offerings. We have three tours that are offered on Saturday evening, November 11th. Two are uh, one's of Disney Global Studios, they have some Disney Resort, um, Disneyland Resort of their EOC. Both those tours are currently full, they're on a wait list, doesn't mean that you won't be able to get in, but chances are, it's hard to say at this point, but uh, you can still sign up and get on the wait list for those. We have a tour of the Port of Long Beach, that is a boat tour of Long Beach Port, and which is the nation's largest port. It's going to be a phenomenal tour. Uh, they'll be offering complimentary beverages and uh, snacks and a cash bar will be available. On Sunday, we have student and new emergency manager events. Our Global Student Council is preparing almost a day-long session uh, to help students and new emerged managers in their careers to get a career. Also, how to become more involved in IAEM. Um, there's networking breaks throughout that almost day-long event. That's a, they started that last year. That was very beneficial for all the student and new emergency managers that went to it. Throughout this webinar, we'll be talking about the various networking events, starting with our Sunday 
evening welcome party and ending with our Wednesday evening banquet and more will be talked about that and including our EMEX receptions throughout uh, the conference. The Sunday event is a really great way to kick off the week. It's a great time to catch up with colleagues and meet new people. And I find it really good, a good time for me to schedule times during the week to meet up with friends and colleagues. And one of the great things about this that's surprisingly fun is the human bingo game that we have at this event. It's a lot of fun. And also there's a raffle for prizes. So if you are new to IAEM, or even if you've been coming for years, the pre-welcome meet and greet before the Sunday reception is a great way to get a jump start on the day. So make sure your flights are early enough to get in on time for the 5.30 Sunday welcome reception. Well, another event that you will not want to miss is the Monday Awards event. This is a great opportunity for those of us in the world of emergency management to get together and acknowledge and honor those in our own field for their accomplishments and their contributions to our profession. Some of these awards will be for lifetime achievements and some of them will be for awards for contributions that they have made over this past year. But regardless of the awards, this is a chance for us to recognize people within our own profession. And who knows, you might be so inspired by some of the awards that are presented that you might go out and do something extraordinary and maybe at a future conference you will receive an award at a future awards event. This proves, um, excuse me, this event should prove to be very exciting because we're going to have a guest master of ceremonies that should add to the excitement of this particular event. And we have an invited guest speaker of Governor of California, Jerry Brown, which should also add to make this a very special event. This has always been one of the highlights of the conference and this year should be no exception. So you wanna make sure that you can make your way to the event before 1215 and get yourself a seat because not only is this a great event, it's also a plated lunch. So if you're a registered conference attendee, you can come in and enjoy lunch and see the emergency management field celebrate accomplishments from among their peers. You won't want to miss it. Another event that's taking place is Monday evening from 8 until 9.30. This is an opportunity to continue networking after the EMEX. It's the new emergency managers, future leaders in emergency management reception. There will be many leaders from the emergency management field there, as well as the IAM uh, leadership uh, staff, as well as our elected uh, board members will be in attendance for this. It's another great opportunity for new emergency managers to network. Another event that's taking place that is very near and dear to my heart is the IAEM Scholarship Program, and there's three components to that. Um, what we're trying to do is support the next generation of emergency managers. We have the Basket Bonanza, a lot of the different regions and some of the different uh, caucuses uh, put together very nice gift baskets. You can buy tickets for those. You put your name on the ticket, drop it in to the basket, and we will be picking winners um, throughout the conference for the basket bonanza. We also have a silent auction that's set up and a lot of members of IAEM will donate something from um, their region, their state, or, or wherever they're, they're from uh, and they donate these so that you can bid on these in the silent auction format and hopefully take something back home. The last one is really the, the capstone and that's the live auction that we have on Tuesday evening. Um, it's going to start a little earlier this year. Instead of starting at 6.30, it'll be at 6 o'clock. It's in the back of the EMEX hall. And as you can see on the slide, you register, you get a paddle, and then you bid on a variety of different things that students um, from the USA a chapter uh, that have either received scholarships or hoping to get scholarships will be assisting with this, showing you what it is you're bidding on. It's a, it's a lot of fun, folks, and I really encourage you to get involved in that. The other program that's uh, 
it's very important and this is the last of the seated meals it's at the end of the main conference if you purchased a uh, full registration um, you will get a ticket to the president's banquet it's included in that um, we do a toast to our outgoing board to our incoming board we recognize all the past presidents we also recognize our AEM and CEM holders it's a great event again it's a it's a seated meal um, the attire for this and the half hour reception that that starts before it starts at 630 is semi formal uh, great way to wrap up the conference and I, I highly encourage all of you to to attend this banquet well one of the greatest things about this conference is IAM doesn't doesn't just exist to say that we're a member of IAM you have plenty of opportunities to get involved and this slide is showing you some of the many ways that you can be involved at this conference and not just at this conference but beyond and throughout the year there are caucuses and committees that you can become involved in and some of them are very specific you uh, you might find a caucus on health care you might find a caucus on climate you might find a caucus on emergency management for institutes of higher education and if there's a caucus uh, topic that you don't find you can find a way to create your own there are also committees on various topics and those caucuses and committees meet on Sundays Tuesdays and Wednesdays you can look at the uh, conference program to find out exactly when and where they are meeting and then there are regional meetings from the 10 FEMA regions IEM is uh, uh, coordinated in the United States through the 10 regions and those are on Monday and then the annual business meeting and general membership meeting for IAEM is on Wednesday morning these are all great ways for you to stay involved and be an active member of IAEM and make it even better than it is today which is an absolutely terrific organization to belong to On Tuesday, we have our career workshop. Uh, this is how show have show our managers, emergency managers. Sorry about that. Can make themselves more competitive in today's job market. Um, this session will provide information on finding the right job for your interests, outlining strategies for making yourself more marketable to recruiters, crafting an effective resume, and discussing ways to prepare for interviews. On Tuesday through. Throughout our EMAX breaks, we have one in the morning, there's one at lunch, and also one in the afternoon. Uh, this group of, of uh, volunteers from IM will be helping uh, you do a mock interview. We have time set up throughout those breaks. You can sign up in the IAEM store, which is in the registration area, and you can sign up to have a mock interview. Also, to have somebody look over your resume and give you pointers to make a better resume for your future job. The spouse program. So hopefully the wonderful area of Long Beach you are not traveling by yourself. You're bringing your spouse or a friend along with you. We have events planned for them. So throughout all the breakout sessions on Monday through Wednesday, there'll be a room set aside where they can meet, meet new people, meet old friends they may have met in years past. Uh, the group will, will be creating a painting for the scholarship auction. They also will be planning events. They might take side excursions or go to lunch or do a tour of the Long Beach area. Uh, this program is free for spouses. If your spouse or friend is coming, they want to attend some of the breakout sessions with you or the general sessions or maybe the Sunday welcome party or Wednesday banquet or lunches and emix receptions, we have a special discount spouse ticket to the um, conference. That's $275. This is for spouses and friends who are traveling with you that are not emergency managers. Um, you can add them to your registration by adding them as a guest. And there's a registration type called spouse program on our registration. Another component of our annual conference is the EMEX. It's the emergency manager's one-stop shop for information about the latest technology products and services available. Usually there's about eight to ten aisles 
of vendors that are showing the new technology products and services. It's a great place to network as well as an information sharing event. Vendors help sponsor our conference. Be sure and bring your business cards because there's a lot of gifts that vendors will be giving away at booth drawings throughout the conference. All right, let's talk about some of our main stage keynotes. Brock Long, the administrator of FEMA, uh, has confirmed that he's going to be attending our conference. We have invited Governor Jerry Brown, as David mentioned earlier, the governor of California. Leslie Chapman Harrison, president and CEO of Flash. And Robert Salsis, the deputy assistant secretary of defense for Homeland Defense and DSCA, will also be in attendance speaking to the conference as a whole. On the main stage, some of our plenary and speakers include Dan Thurman, author and renowned speaker, Dr. Lori Peek, who's the director of the Natural Hazard Center and a professor in the Department of Sociology at the University of Colorado in Boulder. Other speakers that we have on the main stage include our Silicon Valley collaboration. We have Kelly Bentz from Airbnb, Brian Breckenridge from Box.org, Graham Burroughs from Facebook, Amber Elias from Uber, we have Erica Murdoch Balbuena from Twillo, and Tom Tarantino from Twitter. And thanks to Richard Sereno, who's going to be moderating, he is the, a past deputy director of FEMA, he helped IAEM put this presentation together, so we thank him for that. This will be a great presentation from these folks. Some of the other events I'd like to mention when it comes to presentations are what we call our spotlight sessions. And this is going to be held Tuesday, November 14th from 8 to 9.30. And as you see, these presentations are an hour and a half versus a normal one hour for a breakout. And the five that we have this year that we are excited about are a career workshop looking for a job in the right places that Pam Hobbs will be presenting on. Cascading events and unattended consequences that Lori Hodges will be presenting on. Five things that every emergency manager should know about public health that Mark Keem will be speaking to. We have the IAEM think tank, and this will be a group of folks. Again, it's machine intelligence and artificial intelligence in emergency management that Richard Serrano will be moderating. And then our last spotlight session is leadership and communication that Noel Kepler will be presenting on. Book signings. We have several of our speakers who will be doing book signings throughout the conference. As Mike mentioned, Dan Thurman is one of our plenary speakers on Monday afternoon. We'll do a book signing immediately following a session outside the Grand Ballroom in the Convention Center on a book on Off Balance on Purpose. Um, Regina Phelps is one of our breakout speakers earlier in the day on Monday. She'll be doing a book signing on Tuesday during the Emacs break at the IAM store. Um, her, two, her book, Cyber Breach, What If Your Defenses Fail, which is also the topic of her breakout session. And one of her other books she's written before, Emergency Management Exercises from Response to Recovery. Heather Beal is another one of our breakout speakers. Uh, she is speaking on Tuesday afternoon. Immediately following her session, she will be doing a book signing of her two children's books, Elephant Wind and Tummy Rumble. Lori Peake, as Mike mentioned, is our plenary speaker on Wednesday morning. She will be doing a book signing on Tuesday during the lunch in Emacs and also on Wednesday following her plenary session and her books on uh, vulnerable populations. The full conference program. So on our IAEM conference website, which is IAEMconference.info, under the program tab, you'll find our full conference program. You can search as a schedule at a glance by clicking on the full conference program uh, purple button there. You can search by speaker, by tracks, and new this, this year by interest areas. So let's say you're interested in healthcare. You can search by healthcare and find all the sessions of the conference that cover the healthcare topic. This is our schedule at a glance. So if you click on that full that purple button that says full conference program, it will pull up a schedule at a glance. This is 
everything that's happening at our conference. Uh, and it gives the title, the name of the main speaker, and where the, the session is being located. Just the left there, you'll see to the left of the time, there's a little pencil there. If you would click on that, you would find out, pull up the session detail, which is our next slide here. This happens to be one of our training courses. In here, we'll give a full description of the, the session, tells you what date and what room it's located in. This, this happens to be a three-day uh, pre-conference training. It also gives you the instructions at the bottom of this page, lists all the instructions for this or speakers for the sessions. If you click on the name of that speaker or instructor, it would pull up their bio. This is what I like to call the big board. Um, it is a very big board. You won't be able to miss it. It'll be in the registration area and it's a large schedule at a glance. It's also a very common meeting area because a lot of people come up there and just kind of stare at it for a while and take it all in and kind of look at the whole conference uh, in one big viewing. So it's, um, it's, it's a good way to kind of check out what's going on um, rather than looking at your app or at your um, or a conference program on a, on a mobile device. So this actually has it all here. It has the rooms that they're in and also have updated any cancellations that might happen last minute. Well, IAM has gone mobile again and what we're recommending is that you get the app on your mobile device now and for free. The website is up there, so visit the URL on your device tap the download button to get the free app. And I recommend you check out the schedule. It lists all the speakers, it lists the exhibitors, it has maps, and a lot more information. And what's really exciting about this is you go through and you pick out the speakers you want to go listen to, you can build your own personal schedule so you don't miss anything. It's got information about ground transportation, hotel travel, uh, uh, just a whole lot of information. I recommend you download it, get familiar with it before you go to the conference. This is about ambassadors. IAM members serve as ambassadors to help tailor your conference experience. So when you're at the conference, look for people wearing this button. We're there to help you if you need anything, if you have questions, if you're not sure where to go, if you need help finding a room or want to make a suggestion or even want to know how to get more involved with IEM, look for someone with this button. We are people who have gone to the conference many times and our purpose is to help you have a really great experience at the conference and want to come back and get more involved. This is a crisis technology center. This is a place to go for all of your needs. It's a great, uh, it's a lab environment where emergency managers can learn and discuss emerging technologies and new media communications, best practices relating to technological advances in EOC management, social media, and so much more. The center is staffed by technology experts from virtually every level of government, the private sector, higher education, and the not-for-profit industries who are members of our Emerging Technology Caucus. We call them tech experts, and they will be there for the whole conference. They'll be able to provide knowledge and resources and link you with information and skills to return to your agency. In addition to the large lounge environment, the center will host tech talks like um, demonstrations on different topics that each of the designated um, EMEX breaks. And my experience has been great over the years with them. If I'm having any problems, they'll, they'll help me. They've shown me some really neat apps and some great things. And you definitely want to check them out when you're in the, in the exhibit hall. What else do I need to know? Well, these are some typical concerns for new conference attendees. Registration. We have online registration on the website. You can pay by check. That is an option. There are several different ways to cover the cost. We also have on-site registration is available. The list of conference hotels is on the website. There are five to choose from, although some are full on some nights. There are a variety of other hotels in the area. The attire for the conference is business casual. 
Registration. So on our conference website, we have a list of various registrations types. We have pretty much anything you could possibly think of covered. If you want to come for a day, the full conference, or, or whatever, or just add some events to your registration. Um, this year, again, uh, we started this last year, we'll be mailing out the badges prior to the conference. So if you are pre-registered for the conference, you'll be receiving your badge in the mail. If you register late, um, you can pick up your badge on site. As Mike mentioned, you can also register on site. The basic registration to the conference only covers the sessions Monday through Wednesday. The full registration ticket also includes the Sunday welcome party and the Wednesday evening banquet. Uh, I would highly suggest that you do the full registration. The Sunday welcome party and the Wednesday banquet really complement the registration and make it's such a great way to network and meet other people at the conference, and it really makes the whole conference complete as an attendee. Ah, and what makes a great conference? Well, part of it is location. This year we have a terrific location, the Long Beach Convention Center and the Western Long Beach Hotel. If you look at the photograph, you can see that we're going to have sunny weather, water, and a beautiful location. And that's only fitting because the IAM, IAEM conference provides great educational opportunities, great networking opportunities, and great opportunities for those of us, whether you're a seasoned veteran in the world of emergency management, somebody who has some experience in the world of emergency management, or you're just starting the world of emergency management. There is something for everyone here, and it is the premier conference for anybody involved in any aspect of emergency management. It's a great conference. There are so many different activities for anybody in the world of emergency management, and with this location, why would you not want to come? As David was saying, there are many things to do in Long Beach. Uh, we have tried to help you out here and then tailored or paged. So if you're coming out early, staying late, or for your evening time, this page will link you to various events, activities in the Long Beach area. In addition, on this page, there is how to get around the Long Beach area. There's a passport shuttle service that takes you free to all the long, major Long Beach attractions. There's also water taxis. Yeah, we're on the water, we're in the Port of Long Beach, so there's places to go and get to via water. Um, this page also covers how to get to the airport. It gives you directions. We have a, a comp, not a compliment, we have a discount shuttle service. There's a link on there, on, our, on the, one of these pages here, to how to set up a shuttle service from any of the major airports there in the area. If you are driving and you need to park at the convention center, parking is $10, and there's information on this page also how to do that. We have some special offers. Uh, show your badge. So if you're going out to eat or breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, there, if you show your badge, some of the local restaurants are giving you discounts, and that information is on this page. There's free admission to the Queen Mary, which is also one of our hotels, by the way. Um, and if you want to interest in the aquarium, it's nine dollars after 12 p.m. daily, and all that information is found on here. We try to make it easy for you as far as planning uh, and doing your travel and touring around the area when you come to the conference. So, what do you wear to the conference? Well, it is business attire, business casual during the the day and most of the events. But on Wednesday, the day before, semi-formal for the, for the banquet, it is the Wear Your Agency logo day. So that day, please wear logos from wherever you're affiliated with and let people know where you're from and start up some interesting conversations. You'll find all the information about the conference on our website. Um, it, it talks about... Um, the speakers, it talks about what other people have to say about our conference. There's even some highlights from the 2016 IAM conference that may give you some valuable tips on this year's conference. The other thing we've done is we've created um, 
a special um, area with, within the uh, website that uh, addresses specific uh, frequently asked questions. Um, some of those include, uh, I've already registered, how do I add an event, how can I cancel an event, uh, how can I volunteer during the conference? How can I get more involved? This page can be found underneath the registration tab. And here's the last page of our presentation. Um, if you have questions, ask us. Um, while in Long Beach, please contact myself, uh, Donna, David, or Julie. Or remember, contact anyone with an ambassador button. We're here to make sure that you have an enjoyable conference and that you gain the most that you possibly can for you and your agency. Julie? Um, yes, I appreciate everybody joining us on this uh, webinar. It has been recorded, so it will be available uh, after if you missed it or you jumped on late. Or if you want to share with other people that are interested in coming to the conference or are already registered and just need to know more about the conference. All right. Do we have any questions out there, Donna? No, not that I can see. All right. Then as your 2017 IAEM conference chair. I thank you very much and we hope to see all of y'all out in Long Beach.